man, my little brother's bending up all my tools, man. <laughs> nah, that was very, that was powerful. That was powerful. I'm going to read first from John. John chapter 11. John chapter 11, verse 25 and 26. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? The Bible says that if we're in Christ, if we trust him as Savior, then we will experience victory over death. You know, at the time when Jesus, Jesus was crucified, the disciples was a group of men that was very frightened. They actually went into hiding. They were scared for their life. They went from that to being strong and bold and courageous and going and spreading and preaching the gospel everywhere. What could explain this change other than they saw firsthand the risen Christ? Then you look at the Apostle Paul. This man was a violent man that persecuted Christians, tried to murder them and throw them in prison. He went from that to the greatest apostle ever. What was it that made this change in him? It was whenever he met the risen Christ on that Damascus road in Acts chapter 9. Another proof of the resurrection is the empty tomb. If Christ were not raised from the from the dead, then where, where is his body? You see, the disciples and many other people saw the tomb where he was buried, and when they returned, he wasn't there. And don't you know that if them religious rulers could have produced the body of Jesus, they would have done so in a second? Because that would have stomped out the Christian movement right then and there. But you see, they couldn't do that because he rose from the grave just like he said he would. Scripture is clear. Those who believe in Jesus and trust him as Savior will be raised to eternal life just as he was. We serve a risen Savior. Acts, Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Jesus is the answer. This is truth. We want to wish our mom and dad a happy anniversary, 54 years today. We love y'all. See you on the next video.